My name is Ilias Lobin. I'm an expert and dealer of authentic ancient Greek, Roman, Biblical, Byzantine coins and artifacts. I run a website called TrustedCoins.com where at the time of the making of this film I have over 6,800 items available for sale. Every item I sell comes complete with a beautiful certificate of authenticity. The certificate of authenticity also includes with it a lifetime guarantee of authenticity and my signature. I'm no, known worldwide for identifying and uh, researching over 28,000 authentic ancient coins and artifacts. Every coin that I sell comes in a professional numismatic flip. The numismatic flip allows you to look at the front and the back of the coin without taking out the protective covering. There's also a description field there that matches the number on the certificate. That's a shortened description from the certificate. The certificate provides you with a very professionally done description. Many times it's complete with uh, reference to a major reference or collection. And in the back you get the historical context of the item that you have purchased. So whether you're brand new to the collecting field or you would like to make a fantastic, beautiful, pr beautifully presented gift to somebody else, or if you believe as I do that this is a great investment, you may want to visit my site trustedcoins.com. Today I'm going to be discussing the Roman Emperor Valentinian I. You see over here in this statue, he is depicted holding a big cross. I have many coins of Valentinian the first or Valentinian space I um, in my store. You may want to check that out. Now for his biography, Valentinian the first, also known as Valentinian the Great was Roman Emperor from 364 to 375 AD. Valentinian was born in the 30, 321 at Cibeli in southern Pannonia. Valentinian and his younger brother Valens were the sons of Gratianus Major, a prominent commander during the reigns of Emperor Constantine I the Great and Constance I. Due to the successful nature of his reign and almost immediate decline of the empire after his death, he is often considered the last great western emperor. He founded the Valentinian dynasty with his sons Gratian, his wife Marina Severa and Valentinian II succeeding him in the western half of the empire. In 350 AD, Constance I was assassinated by agents of the usurper Magnentius, a commander in Gaul proclaimed emperor by his soldiers. Constantius II, older brother of Constance and emperor of the east, promptly set forth towards Magnentius with a large army. The following year, the two emperors met in Pannonia. The ensuing battle of Mercer Major resulted in a costly victory for Constantius. Magnentius committed suicide. At the news of Julian's death, the army hastily declared a commander, Jovian Emperor. During Jovian's reign, Valentinian was promoted to Tribune of Scutari Regiment and was dispatched to Ansira. After the death of Jovian, the assembly finally agreed upon Valentinian and sent messengers to inform him in Ansira. Valentinian accepted the acclamation on the 26th of February 364 AD. Valentinian reassured them that the army was his greatest priority. He declared his brother Valens as co-emperor at Constantinople on 28th of March 364 AD. Valens resided in Constantinople while Valentinian's court was at Milan. During his reign, Valentinian fought successfully against the Alemanni, Quadi, and Sarmatians. Most notable was his victory over the Alemanni in 367 AD in the Battle of Solicinium. His brilliant general, Count Theodosius, defeated Revolt in Africa and the Great Conspiracy, a coordinated assault of Britain on Britain by Picts, Scots, and Saxons. Valentinian was also the last emperor to conduct campaigns across both the Rhine and the Nobi rivers. Valentinian rebuilt and improved the fortifications among the frontiers, even building fortresses in enemy territory. In 365 AD, the Alemanni crossed the Rhine and invaded Gaul. 
simultaneously Procopius, the last scion of the Constantinian dynasty, began his revolt against violence in the east. In the early 367, Valentinian was distracted from launching a punitive expedition against the Alemanni due to the crises in Britain and northern Gaul. In 374, Valentinian was forced to make peace with Mar Macrian because the emperor's presence was needed to counter an invasion of Illyricum by Quadi and Sarmatians. Later, Valentinian suffered a stroke that ended his life. Valentinian was a Christian but permitted liberal religious freedom to all his subjects, prescribing only some forms of rituals such as particular types of sacrifices and banning the practice of magic. So visit my site trustedcoins.com to buy authentic coins of Emperor Valentinian. Thank you.